and welcome back to some more Battletag Roguetag. Now, today we are going to looking for another mission to kind of bolster our coffers a little bit and maybe get some more equipment. Let's see what we actually have in for that. And the one thing that kind of came to my mind is yeah, either here another battle or this one. A little bit less paid, but better salvage. Or an assassination? Usually something that could be nice. Yes, we're going up against Steinar or the Lyrian Commonwealth, but that is fine. Now, this is the lance I am planning on taking. Uh, we, yeah, bringing two mechs, we leave the carrier home because we don't have the people. There are some still in recovery which is actually quite nice to keep some people in recovery and use other people with the materials we have because that means we can drop more often, I think. So yeah, let's get going and see what is happening. Touching down here on the hillside. That is a nasty touchdown. The targets are over there and with a support lance. Okay, let's see what we have. I uh, want any other comment by your sub-commander. It's an honor to fight you alongside you. What now? We do have support units. Okay, okay. I'm not hating on that. Not hating on that. Hopefully we all can move. I also know as soon as I'm going over here, I probably will trigger the enemy, so let's do that. Or not. I am actually quite surprised by that. Um, so, yeah. Let me see that we actually can get over here. I'm surprised that that is an option. Oh, right, we have to deal with allies. That makes the whole thing a little bit different. They are also coming with me. I should have a wee bit of look what we actually have here. We have a scorpion. We do have... What is this? Why did that one not move? A dervish. A hornet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All in all, that could be interesting. Now, I would like this one here, and of course we have contact. I don't know why I wasn't able to... Oh, I just raced him. Yeah, I'm good at that. I am actually good at that uh, at times. And, uh, yeah, here we go. We do have a with word down here. Uh, blip. Wait, support lance. Oh, God. That is not going to treat me well, is it? Uh, yeah, just fire upon the... What now? I'm not allowed to do that. Well done. There you go. I can do it this way. I'm just thinking about it. A death blossom or something like that with mines would be nice now. Kind of just getting this valley sorted. Okay, they are attacking my carrier already. What was that? A scout helicopter. Yeah, that is exactly what I want to deal with. Uh, yes. No hits. That is unfortunate. They are bringing in choppers. Not too sure what to think about that. Let me have a, actually get a closer look at the choppers in a moment. 
I mean, I do have Sam, so... So far, they are only blitz, and holy hell, they have it out for that carrier. I do not want to go over the ridge that they actually get a direct firing solution on me. Uh, sure, fire. And set that one ablaze. Now having to dealing with them slowly creeping up. Okay, how do we determine which one should be dying first? Hello, little shepherd. Sure. It's not that it costs me anything one way or another. Still movement going through. Just this one moving closer. I don't see anything. I see this one, which I cannot attack. 2.9. 4. 4. And, well, let's try that. Uh, of course it didn't hit. I mean, a hit would have been nice, but yeah, not much can be done about it, right? Oh. If these are actually... Yeah, these are scout helicopters. I think the Rippers are also helicopters. So it makes sense that I could not attack them. No. Why not attacking this one again? I mean, he seems to be there. A wolfhound. At least the mines did some work on the wolfhound. Or something. Okay, okay. That's going to be fun. Uh, minefields. Not my favorite ones. Down there as well. Ah, oh, bugger. Let's hope for the best. 28. Ouch. But we get this chopper down. So that one is not spewing any more mines. Uh, yes, this has an open firing solution. Let's see. There is the wolfhound there. And uh, no. I will be dropping them on top of the wolfhound again. That is already weakened. Okay, yeah, supporting forces are down. I have no clue what he was aiming for. But yeah. Okay, uh, fire comes from over this direction.
things are going in interesting ways. So... Uh, what now? Whatever that just was that didn't sound friendly. That's a Valkyrie. An Irby. Of course it was an Irby. Of course my target is a bloody Irby. Okay, okay. I'm... Can't deal with that. I'm totally not in disbelief about that. A bomb Bombrag Inferno. Yeah, um... What is that? That might be the other one I've taken down. At least I hope that is. Uh, let's see. Valkyrie fire. That's a solid connection. Hmm. My turn. Let me see. This one is probably the one to gone for, even though I do like the idea of taking down the um, Irby early, but that is not really an option. Okay, uh, you... Let me see. What are the options? The with were fire. Nice. Still trying to figure out what the other thing down there is. A Maxine. I mean, I do like your hit chance. Yeah. This is how I like my enemies. Uh, the wolfhound again has some issues there. Wolfhound has lost some amount of armor on the legs. Not significant amount, but at least some. Uh, do I really want to go down here? I think so. I could fire upon this one, I could also fire upon this one. I think I fire at this one, because the other one is in the way. E no. We are not doing that. Spirit Recruit? Structure damage? Who is a Spirit Recruit? I mean, you fired upon one of your own, but that's fine. Y 
Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm now getting punished for that. Hey, they want still gunning for my carrier. Not particularly what I was hoping for, but... Come on. There could be worse situations. Um, you are moving in. Okay, there's the Anubis. There's the Wolfhound. Ripper. There's those two over there. Can you try to get that one down? That would be great. I mean, one hit, I'm more than happy with that. That was more than I had expected. That one is going to get into panic mode. You. Moving down here. Um, we have Sam's for that exact situation. No kill like overkill. <laughs> that is one less chopper to deal with. And the other one should be falling maybe next round. Uh, who knows? Who knows? Um, yeah, let me get down here, even though I am now out in the open. There's the width with... No, that is actually a pretty decent shot opportunity here. I mean, that is also a solid connection. And, uh, yeah, he definitely will be regretting that for a while. Okay. Still gunning for the carrier. Yeah, for some reason they seem to primary focus carriers, so maybe rolling them out at some point might not be such a bad situation. Now the Marston, what do we have? We have the Valkyrie, we also do have the Wolfhound here as an option. Uh, what does the Valkyrie 24? The Wolfhound is only 12.5. You know, the Valkyrie is actually with 24, my best shot. Not that I'm even thinking about hitting them, but... Um, I mean, I think about hitting them, but... Uh, my tanks think about missing them, and that, in a way... That you could think, uh, yeah, slowly people are missing them that often that they probably die from severe pneumonia but due to a heavy draft they are experiencing. Attack that one. There we go. I guess... We are currently the here in a moment where this one is not too happy anymore. Hey, that is the Irby. Isn't it? No, a Maxime. Okay, I should get my carrier away. <laughs> That's definitely my takeaway from that. The Ripper is on the move now. I have no clue where he's trying to shoot me, but... I'm more than happy that he didn't hit. The Wolfhound is on the move again. And is severely missing the Anubis. Again, they do not like that carrier. You. Um, I can't go down here. 
I'm currently thinking about it. No, this is, I think, the best spot. I am on top of my folks, but I should be fine. There's the Valkyrie. Mm, no. I think the Valkyrie might be the best option here. Uh, only two hits. Huh, too bad. Would have been nicer if there would have been more shots in, but uh, what can you do? Uh, let me get to my carrier, please. I'm thinking, trying to figure out what the hell type of shot that is. Um... But then there's also the question, do I really want to know that? This one moves. Uh, 61. Sure, fire. What now? That was the wrong one. We were supposed to shoot at the mech and not bring down the chopper. I mean, I am not complaining. I mean, that was definitely uh, within acceptable margins, but still. Now, let me see. 77... Yeah, I think that is a good opportunity. And yeah, we did destroy something. The LRM-10, so that will neuter that one a little bit. Uh, panic level critical. I kind of was hoping he is punching out, but that seems not to be the case. I really need to move my carrier. Uh, but not before we move the tank. Hello! You know me? You miss me? Apparently not. He seems to be rather unimpressed by what I just did. Let's see. We have the... Okay. For the main part, we have a lot of the units taken out. Let's move up here for now. Uh, that is an 8% chance. 6, 2. Also, we definitely don't want to fire Sam's. There's also one of the problems with VTOLs in a game. We still can hear them even though they already did slightly drop. Uh, bring the mast down. It is Wolfhound time. How? You had the height advantage. You shouldn't even be able to hit that one. Sometimes I have questions about how targeting works. Oh well. Mm. 
No, this one would be an option. There is others coming before it, is there? Uh, yeah. I think that might be a try. Ah, some hits. Not many, but... Enough to call it a pretty decent option. Some heat from that. I'm... Not even questioning certain things. Not even questioning certain things. Because otherwise they are just super stupid. That might be a bad option. Though the Anubis should be able to take that. Or not. Because... The attacks are going not where they are supposed to be going. Ow! Okay, things are going way too bad. It's time to bring on the heat. Big time. into the fire. Eh, that would have been way too nice. Landmines? Where are the landmines? Uh, I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. Okay. Um, no. No. Uh, that should work. I'm to make that one feel very, very uncomfortable. Oh, look, I parked my tank right next to the enemy. That's not going to bite me in the behind, no, or never. I also put this one in a bad situation. Okay, um... What is with you? Remove that one from the battlefield once and for all. Apparently that's uh, not how that works. This one is... Tough. Okay, the Maxime took some damage. You. So, screw that. You are getting done done. More 
some heat for the Irby. Ouch. Hmm. Definitely overextended there with the Anubis. But. Yes! That hurt. Okay, uh, we might have lost that one. Because that was. Not good. Um, emergency coolant system. How rude that you actually have something like that. I think it is time to show this Irby what we are thinking of it. Things are looking. Could you guys come also down here? I mean, that would be helpful. Two double heat sinks destroyed. Uh, who do we have down here? I want this one to help. There we go. Okay. The next target is the Valkyrie. Yeah, easy mission to rack up some stuff. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I remember that I said that. Faintly. Very, very faintly. Okay, that was a solid connection on the Wolfhound. Ow! Okay, okay, uh, that's not going to according to plan. I mean, losing the LM carrier would hurt, but it would not be the worst thing. But, yeah, that now where things seem to have gone quite well, the problem is, of course, the Irby. And whatever its weird gun is it is using. Unidentified. It has an open shoulder. And it is pretty heated up. And at the moment it loses heatsink after heatsink. So that works out for me. You're going a little bit further back. The Wolfhound also doesn't look too fresh anymore. With it taking a lot more armor damage, it will be not in a good position. Uh, 
how is the Irby that okay? I am surprised that it took and cooled that harshly down. But we are getting places. things die the death of destruction. I have no clue where you were firing at, but feel free to fire at that position again. Okay. Yeah, the wolfhound is losing it. That is, again, only armor, but, well, losing the carrier. I know that I probably should get rid of using the carriers because they are a prime focus target. But then again... Hmm. Okay. I destroyed things. And the Yerby is looking sadder and sadder. Okay. Hmm. Taking there some damage from the machines. The Valkyrie is moving. Firing upon my support. Yeah. I mean, so much for bolstering the coffers. I think this one Daphne did cost me big time so far. Okay, that takes the wolfhound out of the equation. And firing upon the fire bee. Well done. Going around here. How bad does this one look? It's like... Not too bad. Give that one some nice little love there. Okay. Four targets left. Why are those mechs not coming up front? I'm not understanding that. But then again, it's AI. I don't understand AI most of the time because they are working in very, very, very weird ways. Another heatsink destroyed. So the way how to work right about now would be to press that one on. To injure the pilot. Okay. Get 
this one moving. Hmm. Sure. Or not. Okay. That's... What the hell? It mainly hit the building. Now, getting closer. Sure. Or not. I mean, eight armor damage. Can you spare it? I mean... That was a lot of armor damage, I mean... I wouldn't know what I would have done without all that armor damage. Ah oh well, jokes aside. That one needs some love. I still want the Yerby down. Not having the carrier is a wee bit hurtful, but hey, what can you do? Now, you. Hmm, yes. Not in the fire, though. Yeah, I don't think that this Irby is feeling that well anymore. Ooh. Nice armor removal there. Time to remove some more armor from the Irby. And... I said more armor removal, but I didn't meant that you basically hit only the armor part with a big cannon. I should be more clear when I'm giving orders like that, because sometimes they follow to the dot, other times they kind of say, eh, nah, nah, we are not doing that. Ow. Okay, I need to get the Corvin out of there. No. I need that one away. Okay. That was at least a good hit. With... Yeah. Get your front away from there. That looks good. That gives a good shot in the side. He is now also back on the field. All right, how are you looking? Where are your streaks? I'm sometimes questioning what my people are doing.
bailing out. In other words, my main target just got out. Okay, that is a tough fight. Sure, fire. 25 damage. Looks like the Valkyrie is now getting it. Yeah, there's only three targets left. Okay, the Corbin is getting pounded now. All in all, not a good situation to be in. That looks fine. Yeah, um... That loosens up the Valkyrie a little bit. Engine crit and the leg is destroyed. Yeah, I don't really think that this guy likes that too much. And it's gone. Fire damage. Okay, that turns down the enemies to two. Yeah, you look like you want a massage. Yeah, at least some damage there. Okay, let me see. Are you? I mean, that was in the rear side. There is no armor left on that almost. Get that off the field. God damn it. Nobody needs that. I mean, at least I can get this one and get some effect in. Yeah, not ideal, this effect. You're in for attack. There we go. Commander, the area has been cleared. Darius has given me green light to land immediately. Hold position. Holy hell. Yeah, easy cakewalk. Two skull mission. We are kind of t sending in the B team. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Great idea. Great idea. Who had this idea? See you in the debriefing. Target escape, destroy supporting enemy forces, destroy Lyrian support lance, drop cost deducted, ammo cost deducted, coolant cost, so yeah. That is going to hurt. At least nothing destroyed, but this will be an expensive repair. Wow. That one has taken some damage. Uh, all in all, we should be... Hopefully get something good out of that. 
uh, let me see, no carrier parts. That means we might get the carrier parts back out. Maxime, NRM, two MGs. It's a nice engine though, so not particularly something I'm looking for. I think I'm taking here the Whitworth part. Uh, but let me also have another look what we have. A normal large laser. I don't know, deltas. Hmm. Worth, an, uh, worth a thought. Uh, I have a look through and uh, we will see what we find. Now, I decided to pick one part of the Withworth. Um, the LM10 Delta looks nice to me, and hey, a double heatsink. Those things are actually pretty expensive, so let's grab that and see what else we get to get parts of the carrier. So it got destroyed. Bugger. Well, uh, stupid things happen. 15 items received. Shouldn't I only get 13? Oh, that's the reclaim of the carrier. Ah, uh, well, we get a loss there. LRM15, a cockpit, uh, FCS standard, sensors, basic, uh, single heatsink cooling, and Artemis and listen kill. That can be interesting. That can be interesting. Uh, more likely to be intercepted, but also more accurate. So you know, maybe we can make something of it. Let's go back and see what we can make of things. LM carrier has been destroyed and could not be recovered. Yeah, thanks. I figured that much. Uh, but cover make with damage in the last engagement cost 18,000 and six days to repair crew to get started. Yes, please. Now, that one lost does hurt. And I'm trying to figure out what options we have there. And one of the things I'm currently figuring out is trying to maybe get the Toro ready to be a little bit more dangerous in long distance engagements and maybe turn this one more into and um, what we call it turn this one more into a long distance threat I mean looking through the whole thing uh, we do have some things here where we might be able to do some things with it one of the first things that kind of comes to mind is uh, he still is running a primitive engine. Uh, we do have standard fusion engines, so chucking this one in is already giving me a lot of options there, weight-wise. Now, what other options are there? There is still cockpit and sensors are still basic. I think I do have cockpits that are a little bit better. I mean, I have a clan cockpit. Not really. Um, there we go, a basic cockpit. Uh, does not make that much more sense, but basic sensors. Um, that's at least something. Is there anything else that is still primitive? No. So yeah, some things. There's already some improvements here. I could also go with a heavier engine. But that doesn't make any sense. So we keep that. The large Tronal laser. 
Give me a moment. I will have a look what I come up with. Right, here we go. So, the idea about the whole thing is I have no clue why I would chuck out the normal basic cockpit there if there was already a basic cockpit in. But yeah, uh, basically removing the SRMs and the laser and replacing them with the LRM stuff we have lying around, which, looking at it, looks actually rather wonky and interesting. I'm also debating an interesting idea right about now that comes to mind. How heavy is the ATM? It is five tons. Huh. I mean, this pirate thing looks very, very interesting. The accuracy and the damage fall off. So this one is meant for close. I can remove that and actually take them in. Uh, come in here. Problem with this is on the flip side that I only have one ton of ammo. So... That needs to hit, but if this hits, that is going to hurt, especially because it is the HE ammo. But that also leaves me with another ton. I think I go with that, that I'm going with having there another ton, and I'm taking this laser. Yes, it's hot, but kind of gives me the option to go there the distance if necessary. Yeah, I mean, that kind of works. Uh, Gyro XL, uh, there still was a primitive engine in, so a standard fusion engine, ender steel, then ferro quick cell, as we had it lying around, upgraded the internals up there to be a little bit better at that point. I am debating this one, trying to figure out if the Rangefinder++ plus plus might be an option to get that in. This is also a gunnery pilot system. We have the material, why not use it right? If we have it, why not use it? I can always get this one out again, if needed. Yeah, of course, compact life support as well. So, e, this is a little bit of gamble on that mech. Uh, but I think that might be an option. Let's validate that, confirm, and get this one ready for the next run. And I also know that uh, this is going to hurt. It won't be ready for the next run, I see that right about now. But it will be ready and then the time after. We still have the AC2 carrier for the next one. And holy hell, I am still a little bit miffed about losing the carrier there. But hey, what comes around goes around. And um, we'll see that we get that sorted and set up. This has been a little bit of a long one, but thank you all so much for being here. I hope you all have had a lot of fun. And as always, play it nice and keep your class attracted. Till the next time, everyone, have a good one.